Hello, my name is Erasmus and welcome to the workbench. In this video I want to show a kit I recently built. It's a radio receiver made for specifically receiving Morse code radio signals from a transmitter in Grimmethon outside Varberg on the west coast of Sweden. The transmission transmitter was finished in 1924 and its antenna towers they look like this. And its mission was to send telegrams to New York from Sweden. The transmitter is a museum, but it's also still working and transmits a few times a year. It transmits at 17.2 kHz, which is really low for radio signals. The low frequency allowed the radio waves to follow the curvature of the Earth, which made it possible to transmit beyond the horizon. So, to celebrate its upcoming 100th birthday, I bought this kit at the gift shop, so I would like to demo how it works. So first you plug in a standard 9 volt battery. And it has a tune knob and a volume knob. And you can plug in ordinary headphones or a speaker. And depending on how you orient the antenna, you receive all, kind of, uh, all kinds of noise from the house here. And it can be interesting to uh, listen to what modern tech gadgets sounds like. For example, these Bluetooth headphones. Interesting. So, to test this receiver, you can actually use an ordinary computer so I will use my laptop as a test uh, transmitter by playing an audio file through its speaker. And since the frequency of the signal is so low, it's actually in the audio range which the computer can record and uh, play back. And uh, so I have this file with Morse code signals at 17.2 kilohertz and the magnetic field from the speaker will actually be enough for this to receive. So I will now start the uh, audio, which you will not hear, but maybe your dog will. It's quite high-pitched. And let's see. And there it is. If I adjust the tune up, the received signal will have different pitches. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.